Hello, welcome back. I'm just, I just want to go through this thing. This is a Stanley honing guide, uh, correct honing guide from, I think it was the fifties or sixties. And I think it was pretty much a UK thing. Um, I've used these for a number of years now. And guess what? Lee Valley Veritas have just started reproducing this. So let me show you a little bit about this and then I'll show you what they're doing. This simple little tool from Stanley is for me a game changer. It's affordable, it was affordable. I was buying these years ago for three pounds on eBay. Now they're about 10 pound on eBay. Lee Valley have just started making their version and they want, uh, I think Axminster wants 20 quid for it, which is, it is a bargain, but you know what? There are these ones still on eBay and if they're helping an old boy out who's used it and he's had it a while, then help him out and give Chuck a few quid his way. But anyhow, great little tool. Let me show you how it works. So I started using this because I'd got to show people how to do, um, how to do sharpening. And I wanted them to get it right and I wanted them to be able to... It was repeatability and this... This little thing really does give you repeatability. So it couldn't be more simple to set up. You slide it in there, screw the top, bevel down, bevel this side. So that's important that you've got to bevel this side. I push it up against a bench. I slide the two components against the bench so they're both touching. When you've got it exactly right and you're happy with it, there you go. So they're both touching. When you've got exactly right, tighten that up. That is 25 degrees. Now, my little tip for this, once you've actually set that up, this is in the way. So what we use is a little bit of inner tube from a cycle. Pull it over there and put it onto the end of there. And that just keeps it out the way while you're using it and I'm making this look very fiddly and awkward but look that keeps it out the way you don't have to think about it and then I can go straight onto my stone so let's do a bit on the stone and show you so you're getting a little bit of my sharpening process now as well um, if you've seen some of my sharpening I'll put drop this video in the playlist sharpening it's a great playlist there's some brilliant stuff in there I'm pleased with it right my water as you know a little bit of um, hone right in there couple of splashes I don't spray everywhere right and this is set up let me get you at the right angle that goes on there are you happy right this is it now I so I've seen the guys on there and they're using it like this and that's actually that's not too bad but what you will find is one thumb will be higher than the other because of this in the middle so that's a little bit of a pain um, but you can hold the blade like that, put your thumbs under there. I tend to, I tend to do it the old way and I tend to hold it up here. But also, once you've done some of this, and if you're not used to sharpening, then keep the wheel, keep the wheel on the stone. Once you're used to sharpening it, as a, let me pull you back a bit, as a way of learning to do sharpening freehand, Watch the wheel. Now, I can't do this because you won't see what's going on. But what, basically what I do is I set it up like that and I pull it off there, go back on. The wheel just touches and it's almost a game. Can I introduce that wheel without it even noticing? And you can just hear it. And this is one handed. So yeah, I normally do this and I put a bit of camber on, a few on the right, a few on the left. This is my 25 degree maintenance, which happens every time I sharpen. And basically what that's doing is it's reducing the amount of 30 degrees so it's some taking some body off the steel and then the 30 degrees will be nice and easy 
straight onto my 10k stone, which is just in the background. Right, there you go, let's have a look at that. So there you go, you can see what's going on. I've still got, now this is a laminated blade, so if you think you can see another bevel there, it's the lamination. But that's my 25 degree done. Let's move that out of the way and let's set up the 30 degree. And you can see how quick and easy it is. Unscrew that, pull the elastic off. Do you want to get a bit closer? Yeah, hang on. And with the 30, you're just pushing it onto the surface. So I find I push my body up against the blade to hold the blade here. So that's holding still. Get it square here, so that's square. Look down the edge of the table, the lines on the edge, tighten it up, 30 degrees, get the inner tube back over, that was a bit easier that time, and then go to the next stone. And my next stone is my 10,000 grit stone. Camera's in the way a bit, try and do it all right. So, gently push, but mainly on the pulling. If you enjoy my channel and what I do, you can donate and support the channel. If you scroll down, go to the thanks button, which is just there, hit that. You can choose to donate £2, £5, £10 or £50, which helps me improve my channel. Cheers, guys. So, pull it over, pull it back. As you can see, I'm coming straight off the stone. I only need to do this a couple of times. Now, as you're doing it, keep an eye on the dry patches and see if there are any minor scratches and things in there. So as you're pulling it back, watch out for these dry patches. Look for scratches. If there is, wait until they've gone, or you keep going until they've gone. So let's pull that back. Bit of pressure on this on the left. Pull it back, more pressure on the left, look at that. Now I'm going to go over here, more pressure on the right. Now you can see the camber. Now I'm just pulling this back and showing you slowly. What I generally do myself is I do a little bit of this and then I turn the stone around and use the other side. Come straight off. No pressure on the stone, no digging in, no heavy weight. Just relax, just keep it slow. Keep it slow, keep it accurate. Pushing the slurry around. Great little honing guide. I pretty much use it all the time now because I never was. I was a freehand sharpener for years and years, but you know something, you can't beat it. You really can't. And as far as one of the most simple honing guides out there, this Stanley number 50 honing guide, correct. Is that what it's called? Correct. Correct honing angle is brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Right, let's have a look at the Let's have a look at the edge there. So see my edge going down there with the light. So I also, once I've done that, let me move you over to here. Let's see if I can do this without the lights flickering. So I take it off. I take it off and I take it to my straw. And what I do here, is I just get on the strop like that. I, I don't hold it square, I hold it at a slight angle. I lift it up until I can't see a shadow there. And then I will do that and move my body forwards and backwards. This is equivalent to about 50,000 grit. 10,000, now I've gone to 50,000 grit. And then I put, the, put it on there and I just move it around a bit slowly pulling it off. And the reason I do that is to take some of the liquid 
away to ensure it's dry. I then do my edges, turn it over, do the other edge. Reason for this, my arthritis. I don't like gripping these things too long because it digs into my hands and it hurts. I like the softer edges. I've got a video. If you go through the playlist, you'll see a sharpening video where I take all these sharp edges off. And there are no sharp edges. It's soft. It's wonderful. Anyhow, back to this. Great little honing guide. I just want to show you one more thing. I found this a while ago. This is an original instruction sheet. I think it's the, from the 50s, which is why Lee Valley Veritas can now reproduce this because the patent dates up. And I shouldn't do this with a dirty hand. And here we go. Number 50, honing gauge. Pattern number 605333. Let me move out a bit, stop the lights flickering. And here you go. Here's the swing gauge after setting, you put it up there, but it doesn't mention a rubber a rubber ring. That that thing, this, you will find so useful to just tuck around there. It saves holding it with your fingers, saves it dropping, we'll get frustrated. This little instruction sheet is wonderful. So if you want to screenshot that, oh, I've got to come out a bit more, haven't I? There you go. To get some light on it for you. If you want to screenshot that, go for it. And then on the other side, it tells you the setting gauge ensures correct owning of 30, also checks the angle of 25. It does. It is simple to use. An amateur will be able to obtain results equal to those of a skilled craftsman. It's exactly right. It's fast. It really is one of Stanley's most simple, best tools that they have ever done. So I hope you like that video. It gives you an insight into how I sharpen as well. But Stanley number 50 honing gauge, gauge not guide. And on there it's, it's called the correct honing angle 30 degrees. Thanks for watching. I hope you like that. That's Isn't that great? These instruction sheets are so rare. So I look after that. Um, if anybody's interested I could scan that and send you a copy if you want it. Um, great bit of history. Cool to have. Um, so yeah, email me and I'll send you a copy of it. Is we use a bit of car a cycle. My, my tip for this is a little bit of... My tip for this next part is...